Hello, my name is Wayne Godso from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the steps to change default passwords on the Avaya VSP9000. There are a number of reasons why you may want to change the default passwords on the Avaya VSP9000 system. The VSP9000 default user IDs and passwords are well known and easy to obtain. For security purposes, you will want to secure your system by changing the default passwords. The system has a number of default user IDs and passwords, including the read-only, read-write, and read-write-all user accounts. The same process is used to change the read-only, read-write, and read-write-all accounts. You may want to change the passwords to match your current network password strategy used in all systems throughout your network. In our example, we'll use the following steps to change the default passwords on the system. We'll log into the system with read-write-all privileges. We'll use the enable command followed by conf t to enter terminal configuration mode. We'll view the password command options available to us using the question mark parameter. We'll change the RWA account using the CLI password command. And finally, we'll complete the password change by entering our old and new passwords when prompted by the system. Again, it's worth noting that the same procedure can be used to change other user account passwords on the system. In our example, we'll log into the system with the read write all user account and password. Once prompted, we will enter the enable command to get into enable mode. We'll follow that with conf t to enter terminal configuration mode. Now we'll view the password command options available to us using the question mark parameter at the end of our command. As you can see, this will display the various user accounts that can be changed with the same process. Now we'll change the RWA account password using the CLI password command. The RWA in our command identifies the system account user ID, followed by the account privileges associated with the RWA account. In our case, RWA has read write all privileges. It is also possible to change the system account user ID if required. RWA is the default user ID. Now we'll enter our old and new passwords when prompted by the system to complete the password change. The old password was RWA and now we'll enter our new password and when prompted we'll enter the new password once again. As you can see, changing passwords in the Avaya VSP9000 is a quick and easy process that will help you secure your newly installed system. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.